And another one bites the dust. All right, Goldman Sachs, guys. I did Morgan Stanley yesterday. Goldman Sachs, GS on the New York Stock Exchange, financials, sector, investment banking, brokerage services, pretty much the same thing as Morgan Stanley, guys. And guess what? They look alike. Okay, what do we have? Monthly candle chart before we head down to the weekly to do some uh, Stan Weinstein stage analysis. Price action below the 12 month moving average. Eh, don't want to be there. Doesn't mean it's necessarily a short, but uh, if you've been riding this uh, nice uh, stage two up, this means you're in a stage three. And when we're going to zoom in on the weekly, uh, if, look, you're starting to see the 12 month moving average ro rolling down. It's probably going to look like a stage four, guys. And guess what? I think it is. But we'll just wait. We'll go check. Where are my levels? Where are my monthly defined resistance? Look at that. Wicks, wicks, wicks. Close below. Okay. Here is my ultimate monthly defined support. And... A close below that would give me drum roll. Do, 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 do. Applied measure move. Wow. Okay, all the way down here. Okay, the target is runs through what I called um, a wall previous resistance right here. Turn support. Oh. I think right by here was a breakout, pullback, continuation. If I was not to play, if I was to play this with my classic chart trading framework, I have this thing called the target considerations, and I would actually move up my target just above, just to get my to make sure I get triggered out before hitting that congestion area, right? Because here the wall, this support is going to start here. Uh, 165 level 64.50 and it's going to ride all the way down to this natural support right here so that's all this is a zone of support and why take a chance of not making it all the way to the implied measure move or lower you just lift it just a little bit sure you get a less good risk to reward ratio but uh, you increase your chances of uh, getting uh, of hitting a profit limit and that's good when you do um, short with the uh, bracket orders and then you just forget forget about the chart. You, you're too busy. Uh, you know your emotional uh, intelligence or your, your EQ can't handle the whipsaws. You just can't look at the chart because you know you're going to micromanage. You're still learning the phase of uh, grasping what's actually happening in the supply and demand. Uh, you haven't rationalized it, crystallized what's actually happening when there's pullbacks, when there's heavy volume, when there's heavy volume on breakouts, institutional institutions buying, uh, contra contracting volume, contracting uh, price range before it explodes. If all that is not crystallized in your head and you just want to play classic chart trading framework, uh, you put in your buy stop, your sell stop, and then your target, and then you just lock and load, forget. And in the meanwhile, well, you could read books. You could read uh, Mark Minerver Minervini's uh, book, The Trading, Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard, which I'm reading right now. It's pretty cool. Or Stan Weinstein's Secrets for Profiting in Bull Markets, the ultimate classic. And uh, absorb what these, these gurus, what these, these teachers have to offer and see uh, if any of their explanations, their experience expressed through their books could help you uh, crystallize and reinforce your confidence in uh, those frameworks, guys. All right. But what we want to do now is trade on the weekly Stan Weinstein style. Move. Uh, what do we need for Stan? Well, we need relative strength, the Mansfield. You want to compare the stock versus... Uh, the SPX, the index, or 
a baseline measure you want also we'll be using that to compare it to the uh, sector it's in and the industry and see how it it's uh, underperforming because now we're aiming for stage four underperforming its peers all right here we go look at that oh stage three trying to go stage four action right here trying to get back into a stage three and eh, refuse guys and you could often look at this Mansfield relative strength on trading view it's really awesome highlights red when uh, you're underperforming the SPX when you're below 30 average and the third average is declining if it's declining that means the trend is downwards and uh, that should comfort you to know that the trend is your friend look at that right here so you know the here was the beginning of right here around this area here the beginning of the stage four below the Ichimoku cloud right below all that green support created uh, previously we're through it goes down hitting some weekly defined support goes back up very very much up nice uh, green volume here kind of a uh, scary if you'd be shorting it right here sideways move hitting that uh, 30 week ma and now going back down so if you would have missed it down and uh, you weren't sure you could have actually waited this is kind of looks like a, a shakeout on the top if your sell stop would have been too close but remember if it's a shakeout keep an eye on it i know it burns it hurts you don't want to look at the charts ah, i hate it it got me out you think uh, the price reverse keep it on your watch list there was a reason you joined in but maybe your timing was just off and then after that here you get the perfect opportunity to get back in guys it, then you get a few weeks to go by and oh look it's going down don't say ah oh, no i missed the boat you reassess you relook you have a nice consolidation pattern right here and after that you have this weekly close right below that 230 level and that for me is going to send you a continuation breakdown continuation stage four you've been underperforming the spx all this time it's going downwards again and that is all she wrote guys for goldman sachs group check the monthly just again yeah it's, here's the weekly see weekly defined uh, if you're ultra conservative i guess you could wait for the a close below 220 right here and you could even wait for the bigger pattern to close below 210 but the thing is you you might hit some support at the 220 level monthly defined support 220 yeah right here right about here but this is a good risk to reward entry right here because you have the protection of the uh, 30, 30 week moving average right there you have the protection of the the high of this consolidation to sideways sideways move so your sell stop you could put it right about here you're pretty safe a little lower here and after that you enter here and then write it down if ever it pulls back here on the on the 220 and goes back up remember what i call a wall previous support turn resistance you could probably hit it here and then hit that 30 week moving average and then you get to uh, go down guys so this is very good very strategic the way you're close to that uh, area here sometimes you want to enter a stock let's say broke out here but look how far you are from the 30 week ma uh, the risk reward is it's difficult to enter here i know sometimes it goes keeps going like it happened here but uh sometimes it could act it could easily go went back down and tested the previous uh, breakout levels right here do we compare let's compare to the financials in case you didn't watch uh yesterday's uh, podcast on the uh, morgan morgan stanley and you'll see that you've been underperforming the financials the sector you're in 
and you'll see you were underperforming investment invest investment banking you're also wow really underperforming it and you see right here i use the never short a stock if the man's feels going up even if you're below zero line and the inverse don't uh, don't buy if the Mansfield is going down, but use, you see the lol here, the, the V-shape up and down, and that usually matches with the, the pullback. Another one here, the pullback on the chart right here, and right here it gives you a visual clue that now you've uh, pulled back, and if uh, you're still uh, under the... Um, a three week MA, and you're still all the other weight of evidence that it's still stage four, then it's a good indication that now you have the trend um, in your favor in the direction you want to go, guys. So, Goldman Sachs, man, join the party. Stage four breakdown. All right, guys. See ya.